A strand test is really simple and easy to take. I'm going to show you how to do one. So you're going to find the area with the densest amount of hair, so the most hair per square inch on the head. For me, on my mannequin today, it's between the crown and where the occipital bone would sit. So we're simply going to take a section straight across. We're then going to take a small amount of hair. Make it nice and neat with your comb. And this will be enough for us to test. We don't need many more hair strands than this. It's very small, but we'll still be able to see a colour result on here. We're going to take this hair and we're going to twist it really, really well. Once we've twisted it, we're going to take our cutting scissors. We're going to slide that blade down the hair really gently because it can be a little bit uncomfortable. And then take our hair strand. What I'd recommend you do now is use something like sellotape or what works really well is a small zip tie to hold all of this hair together but I urge you to always remember to write the client's full name and date and what technique they desire so you don't forget what this is. It's also a really handy tool to show clients that maybe their hair is not going to lift or give them the desired result. This way you have one long piece of hair, we have some of the pre-lightened hair in there and some of the natural and you can test different products and physically show the client the result of what is going to happen to their hair. If we come back to where we took it from and try and find it, it's almost impossible to find those short pieces of hair in there now. The client is not going to be able to tell and they're not going to feel like you've just taken a chunk of hair out of the back of their head. Remember, you're only going to need about 10 hairs in that bundle for this because that is enough for you to see a colour result.